Dear Horns, while I was playing at Texas, I had this little tradition to get my head right before a big game. As the team went out for the coin toss, I would find a place on the sidelines where I was alone. I'd take a knee for a few moments, and I'd just be present in my surroundings. I'd look at all the fans in the stands. I'd look at the band all dressed up and jumping around. And I'd take a few moments to thank God for the opportunity in front of me. That's special. It means a lot for, for every player. I read it and then I said I'm going to use this letter at our pregame. Before we come to the stadium, I'm going to read it to our team. He talked about one specific paragraph in the beginning. I think it was basically meant for shame. My second collegiate start came when I was just a redshirt freshman playing against number one ranked Ohio State. We had just gone undefeated and won a national championship, and the expectations couldn't have been any higher on myself or our team. I felt overwhelmed. But here's the thing I learned eventually. The pressure doesn't go away. It's always there. You're at Texas. The expectations never ease up. So what I discovered over time, and what you will as well, is that the pressure is a good thing. Eventually I learned to feed off of it. I even craved it because it pushed me to be the best version of myself. Let's go! Hey, our time tonight! I'm telling you now what it took me years to learn and accept. If you go out there and play to the very best of your ability, that's all you can ask of yourself. And more times than not, it will be enough to win. It was kind of weird. It was like, I read this piece of paper that he, that he gave to us and then I went and did it. It was an awesome experience. Many years from now, Maybe you guys will get together and look back on your time at Texas. You'll talk about some disappointments from last season, when you lost some close games but won some big ones. And then you'll remember that season opener against Notre Dame, when you all realized just how talented you were. You showcased it in front of the entire nation. You'll look back and take pride in how you lifted Texas football out of the lean years and defined a new era of greatness. In some ways, I'm jealous of you. You have so many memories just waiting to be made. I took that to heart because I wanted to go out there and compete at the highest level. When I read it, I really felt what he was trying to say. It was really inspirational. He had no idea that it was going to impact us like that, but I mean, it was wonderful. The talent is there. I see flashes of the same greatness that I was fortunate to be around while I was on campus. Trust that your coaches are going to have you prepared. Trust your reads. Trust your instincts. These games are why you were recruited to play here. So don't try to be a superhuman version of yourself. Just be you. Be the player that you know you are. You made it to Texas because you've played very well in a lot of games throughout your lifetime. This is just another opportunity to showcase what you were born to do. One thing that stuck out to me was when he was talking about um, how what he does before the game. When he said, you know, you just find your alone time and uh, you know, just get yourself right and mentally prepared to uh, do what you got to go do out in the game. I kneeled and I prayed before the game, and I was just, I just stood in my surroundings, like like he said that he did, and uh, just, just was so appreciative of, of being in that position. Having my, my first game there with all those fans and um, just the whole atmosphere, you have to take all that in, and that's what I did, and it was, it was just exciting overall. So before kickoff, find a quiet place on the sideline, take a knee. Look around the stadium. Breathe in the air and appreciate the atmosphere. Take a moment to collect your thoughts, say a little prayer, and remember how blessed you are to be playing the greatest game on earth at the greatest school on earth. Then get on your feet, strap up your helmet, and go show those boys how we play ball in Texas. Hook them.